And one of the best examples of mercy is the Fatih Makkah. That the conquest of Makkah. And we know when Prophet Muhammad when he came back to Makkah with a large ten of thousand, more than 10,000 companions, and when he marched into Makkah, victory was easy. And the Muslims, they conquered Makkah without bloodshed. And when Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, entered Makkah, when he entered Makkah, he said that all those who are in the house of, in the house of Abu Sufyan, all those who enter the house of Abu Sufyan, they are safe. Abu Sufyan, he was the chief of the pagan Arabs. He was the chief of Makkah and he was the leader of the enemies. So when he enters Makkah, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, anyone who enters the house of Abu Sufyan, the chief of the enemies of Muslims, he is safe. All those who lay down their arms, they are safe. All those who stay behind locked doors, they are safe. He says further that Vashi, the person who killed the uncle of the Prophet, Hazrat Hamza, may Allah be pleased with him, he said he is forgiven. Hinda, Hind, the lady who ate the liver, of Hamza, may Allah be pleased with him, who was the uncle of the Prophet, even she is forgiven. The Prophet said, Habar, the person who threw a spear at the daughter of the Prophet when she was traveling from Makkah to Medina, and later on, because of that wound and injury, she died. The Prophet said, Habar is also forgiven. Imagine, Prophet forgive the killer of the uncle. The person who ate the liver of his uncle, the person who killed his daughter, when the Prophet came to Makkah, he forgave everyone. One of the companions by the name of Saad, may Allah be pleased with him, he said that this is the day of massacre. And the Prophet said, no, this is the day of mercy. This is mentioned in several hadith in Sahih Bukhari, Volume 5, in Sahih Muslim, and various several hadiths about the conquest of Makkah. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Hujurat, chapter number 49, verse number 13, Allah says, Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnaakum min zakin wa unsa wa jalnaakum shu'umba wa kaba ila li ta'arafu inna khalaqnaakum min zakin wa unsa wa jalnaakum inna la alimun khabeer O humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female and have divided you into nations and tribes so that you shall recognize each other not that you shall despise each other and the most honored in the sight of Almighty God is the person who has taqwa, is the person who has God consciousness, piety and righteousness. This verse of the Quran is the best verse on universal brotherhood which says that all the human beings have been created from one pair. We have one common great, 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 great grandparents, Adam and Eve. And we have been divided into nations and tribes so that we shall recognize each other, not that we shall despise each other and the most honored. The only way one human being is superior to the other is not by wealth, is not by sex, is not by color, it's not by age, but it is with taqwa, it is God consciousness, it is piety, it is righteousness. Once the Sabas, they capture a person by the name of Summama from Yamama. And this person, he had killed several Muslims. He had butchered and killed several Muslims. So they arrest him and they get him to the Prophet. And when they get him to the Prophet, the Prophet says that what should be done to you, O Umama? So Umama replies that if you kill me, you would not be doing wrong because I've killed many Muslims. But if you free me, and if you want ransom, I can give you all the wealth. And if you forgive me, you will be, forg you will be forgiving a person who will be grateful to you. So the Prophet gives him milk. 